what we're going to work on now is something that will hopefully be helpful for English teachers especially. Um, but it's a website where you can have students upload a Word document and submit it to you and you can go in and put um, comments and feedback for editing, revision, grading, uh, or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, to do this, the website's name is Poetica, P-O-E-T-I-C-A dot com. And when you go to Poetica dot com, there's this little box to create an account. Uh, the way their account works, it syncs up with your uh, OneDrive account. So when you put in your email address, it should pop up with a sign in with your Microsoft account. Um, if not, go ahead and just walk through the steps that it gives you anyway. Um, I've already signed up for an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And sometimes it'll prompt you to sign into your Microsoft account again just to verify the security. Um, sometimes it doesn't. So once you log in, you get a page like this. If you want to, if you want students to compose their work inside of Poetica, you can just click on New and Blank Draft, and they can work there. Uh, but more likely, you're going to be using uh, Microsoft Word. So once they've already created the file, they would come in here and go to File Upload. And for the sake of what we're going to do today, I'm going to pick um, a file that I've got saved on my hard drive that's just a, um, a template for a research essay. And upload it that way. And once it's uploaded, uh, it pulls up inside of Poetica with just the body of that Word document. Now, picture this as being what the students see. This is the student perspective. They've just uploaded their work. What they're going to do next is they're going to ask for feedback from either a peer to proofread and revise or from a teacher to proofread and revise. Um, so they're going to click on ask for feedback and they can either put in the email address of the person that they want to edit it or they can share this link. Anyone they send this link to will be able to edit their document. So I'm just going to copy this link and uh, we'll pretend for the sake of this that uh, the student has sent me this link. This is what I will see when I paste that link to go edit. It'll pull up for me a screen like this that will have their document in it. Um, when I'm reading through the document, if I want to make changes or I want to make comments, all I need to do is click somewhere. And by default, it gives me these two options. It gives me the call out discussion bubble and a caret for inserting. So if I do this, I want to insert a comment. It's there. If I want to insert um, an apostrophe S, or if I want to add a word, the caret feature will work. Now, one of the cool things about this is, especially with the insert, once the once you have uh, finished this, when the student opens it back up, they have the option to be able to accept or deny your edits. So if they want to. Um, it'll show where you've added these with the carrot, and they can just accept it, and it automatically adds it into their um, Word document. Um, once they're finished any changes, though, they'll still need to go and download it back into a Word file so they can submit it to you however you want to. Uh, but this is just a real quick, easy tool for you to be able to make comments on written work, um, which is one of the areas that Blackboard uh, really has some shortcomings because you can only put comments in Blackboard uh, just in general. You can't really nail down to that specific uh, parts of the document where you want to put information. Um, but in a nutshell, that's how we use um, Poetica for leaving feedback on student work.